polymorphism in C++. The word polymorphism means having many forms. Typically polymorphism occurs when there is a hierarchy of classes and they are related by inheritance. C++ polymorphism means that a call to a function will cause a different function to be executed depending on the type of the object that invokes the function. So, here we are going to discuss polymorphism and polymorphism it naturally occurs in the case of inheritance. So, to have a better idea on this we shall have to go for some examples. So, let us suppose there is one class the name of the class is shapes from this class we have inherited rectangle from this class we have inherited triangle and circle say and so on. Okay. Now, let us go for the next one. Now, consider this following example whatever we had earlier we have we had our shapes then rectangle triangle and circle. So, here you see there is a class called shape this class is having width and height shape is a constructor here what is the constructor we will be discussing that one later in the sessions. So, shape is a constructor whose name will be same as that of the class name and it is parameterized constructor. So, what about the values we have passed to assign to reinitialize these width and height variables member variables and this is one area. So, just locate and just note this particular area it is int area void and it is having certain body here. So, here this name of the class is shape here this name of the class is rectangle which is inheriting shape here this name of the class is triangle which is inheriting shape. So, here we are having this rectangle constructor here we are having this triangle constructor as well. So, now in this rectangle we are having this area defined and its body is defined then the body of the area function in shape and here also this particular area is defined just look at here here this area is int area void here we are having the same prototype here we are having the same prototype for the function. So, now from the main we have defined one pointer object under the class shape the object name is also shape rectangle class object through constructors we are initializing triangle class object is try through constructor we are initializing these values are there. Now, shape is assigned with the reference of rec with the address of the rec. So, shape is nothing but a pointer type of variable you can easily find shape is a pointer type of variable which is pointing to this class object shape. So, now shape is getting assigned with this ampersand of rec that means the address of this rec object. So, shape implies area we are expecting that rectangle area that very function is supposed to be called because we have assigned this rec address on this shape. Here we have initialized shape with this triangle object address. So, whenever we are calling this shape implies area we are expecting that the calling of the triangle area function will take place and that is the end of this. So, now let us see in the practical that what the output we are going to get. So, here is the demonstration for you. Here we have defined one class the name of the class is shape and under this class under the protected section we have defined two member variables width and height. Shape is nothing but a constructor because this function name is same as that of the class name and it is a parameter as constructor as it is having input arguments. So, this constructor is used to initialize width and height respectively. There is another function int area is defined which is just printing one line that is parent class area. So, only this line is getting printed and it returns 0. So, from this class shape we have inherited a class rectangle. So, shape is a base class here and rectangle is the derived class. So, rectangle is the constructor here and it is parameter as constructor. And here we have called the base class constructor shape AB and the constructor body is void. INT area here we have printed this line that is rectangle class area and the value of width and height are to be multiplied and that will be returned. This width and height is actually defined 
in our shape class in the protected section so as they were defined in the protected sections so they could got inherited in the class rectangle under the protected section so there is another class rectangle which is also having the base class shape so this rectangle is nothing but a constructor parameter as constructed with input arguments and here we have called the base class constructor and this parameter as constructed is having the empty body here int area is a local member function defined which is printing triangle class area only this line is getting printed and it is just printing width into height by 2 so it is returning the respective value accordingly so now if we consider the main function here we have defined the pointed object under the class shape and rectangle class object rect and triangle class object try and here we have passed the two values to get initialized into the respective a and b so 10 and 7 and 10 and 5 so now this rex from the shape is getting initialized with the address of the rectangle class object rect now as it is a pointer object so we cannot use shape dot area but we, have, we can use shape implies area so we are printing this shape in place area again we are printing this shape implies area after initializing shape with the address of the object try which is the triangle class object so now now let me execute my code and in the output we can easily find that each and every time this parent class area is getting printed that means this rect and this try they are having their over uh, ridden function this is the over ridden function we are having because this function is having the local declaration within triangle and as well as within area as well as within this rectangle and this area function is over ridden but here is that always it is executing the base class area always it is executing the base class area that means int area this particular code is getting executed and that's why it is printing parent class area as the output so in this way we can we can prove that that in spite of the fact that shape has got initialized with the address of this rect uh, rectangle class object rect then also it is printing the base class area function it is executing the base class area function and here also in spite of this assignment shape implies area is executing the base class defined area function as well so now in this case if i just omit this one if i want to write this one in this way see i'm not writing this one here i'm just going for this body and if i write the same and let me check what is the output we are going to get you see well we can write the same in this way also we're going to get the same output so similarly for this one so if i execute the same i'm going to get the same so we are going to get the same output let me execute the same in gnu plus plus compiler so here the program name is proc 67.cpp Yes, we are getting the same output. So instead of having instead of having this pointer object, if I go for ordinary object here, so if I execute the same, we are getting the same output here, and before initializing shape with rec or try objects if i call this area directly from the shape object then also obviously it will be calling the base class area function so in this way we have defined that how this program is producing the output and what is the reason behind that thanks for watching this video now we have seen the output the reason for incorrect output is that the call of function area is being set once 
by the compiler as the version defined in the base class. This is called static resolution of the function call or static linkage the function call is fixed before the program is executed. This is also sometimes called early binding because the area function is set during the compilation of the program and that is the source of our unexpected results obtained from the program execution. So now let us do some changes in our code. So here we have made this the same shape class is there with this shape constructor with this area as one of the member functions and here we have used the keyword virtual. Here we have used the keyword virtual. So see out so parent class area so we have called and then the respective return 0 is there. So now if we do this change in my code the output will be changed here. So here is the demonstration where you can expect we can expect what is the change in the output and you can see that one in practical. Here in this program we have made a very small change. Here we have used this keyword virtual before this int area. The rest program we have kept the same. Whatever the program we had we kept the same program in our rest part. Okay. So here we have defined this shape class uh, object pointer one is the pointer object we are having this one so shape class pointer object there is a shape is the name and here we have defined two objects one under the class rectangle name of the object is rec another one is try under the class triangle so this shape is getting initialized with this address of rec and then shape implies area and then shape has got initialized with the address of try and shape implies area we are printing here once again. So let me show you that how the outputs are coming here. So now in this program you can easily find that the output is coming like this. So rectangle class area and triangle class area so they are coming like this. So that means this triangle class area and the rectangle class area they are actually getting printed not the base class that this area print class area parent class area is getting printed so in this way we can use this virtual keyword here so that it can do the dynamic binding as when required so if i execute the same code if i execute the same code in uh, gnu plus plus the compilation a.ex will be produced and I have executed the same and now you can easily find that both these two programs are producing the same output uh, the same program in two different compilers are producing the same output as I have demonstrated I think now the conception is getting clear to you now this output has got explanation like this this time the compiler looks the contents of the pointer instead of its type Hence, since addresses of objects of try and rec classes are stored in pointer shape, the respective area function is getting called. So whose pointer address we are putting, so that will decide which area function is going to be called here. As you can see, each of the child classes has a separate implementation for the function area. This is how polymorphism is generally used and you have different classes with a function of the same name and even the same parameters but with the different implementations. The body of the function will be differing but they will have the same signature, they will have the same name and so on. So in this way we have shown you that how the function overloading is taking place in C++. Thanks for watching this video.